Got a tickle in your throat? That little nagging sensation of something you want to clear in your throat that keeps coming up and bothering the way you speak? What causes that? How can you prevent it from happening? And once you have a tickle in your throat, how can you overcome it easily and quickly? Well, in this video, I'll share with you some ideas answering all those questions. Let's get started. What causes a tickle in the throat? Well, many things. One could be that you're dehydrated, or perhaps you're tired. You were out late last night shouting, or it could be from pollutants in the air, it could be from GERD or a postnasal drip. Well, how can you prevent a tickle happening? First of all, hydration. It's so important to stay hydrated. And how does that work? It's recommended you drink at least 64 ounces of fluid a day. And when we say fluid, I don't mean coffee or tea. I don't mean caffeine or soft drinks. I mean water, 64 ounces of water. Now it depends on your size and your physical activity, but that's a good at least baseline. I drink much more than that. But make sure that you stay hydrated, that you make it a habit on a daily basis, especially for those of you who are in desk jobs who don't have a lot of physical activity during your day. It's very easy to just kind of forget about it. You don't feel thirsty until you do at the end of the day. Have a bottle of water or make sure you have a big glass of water that you sip from during the day so that you stay hydrated. Remember, the first moment that you start to feel thirsty means that you are dehydrated. That's technically dehydration. So stay on top of that. It's going to help your voice. It's going to help your body. It's going to help you the way you feel about life. Secondly, get plenty of rest. I've talked about in my earlier videos how important proper amount of sleep is each night. I suggest you get at least six to eight hours a night of sleep. And in some of my earlier videos, I talk about ways to make that happen. Set yourself up for success. Finally, my last point, besides staying away from pollutants, making sure you're around clean air, my biggest major recommendation to you is warm up your voice. Because if you find you have a tickle in your voice, and that happens to me once in a while, if you have a tickle in your throat, what you can do is start to talk over it, start to really dig into your breath, open your throat and speak out. In my earliest videos, I talked about stepping up to the bar, breathe, articulate, reach out with your voice. By doing those three things, you'll start to have a voice that can work through that tickle. If you sit back and you kind of let that tickle overtake you, it's going to be more intense <clears throat> and you're going to keep clearing your throat. So I recommend starting a daily routine of warming up your voice. I have available for you the eight minute Munoz method warm up. It's a great way to start learning how to warm up your voice on a daily basis. Remember the voice is made up of muscles. You need to take care of it. That's why I recommend sleep and water and a routine to warm it up. You wouldn't go to the gym and start doing lots of bicep curls and you certainly wouldn't get out and run six miles as fast as you can before warming up your body a little bit, even by a slow run. The same happens for the voice. If I go and I suddenly do something that I misuse my back, my back would go out. And if I did something, picking up something very heavy without properly doing it or without being warmed up slightly, I'm going to pull a muscle. It's the same thing is true for the voice. I want to keep stressing to you how important it is to have a relationship with your voice that works. Warm up your voice, stay hydrated, get lots of sleep and make sure you eat healthfully, taking supplements as needed as you like so that you stay on top of your game. You stay on voice and that tickle in your throat, is no longer a problem. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel.